Hey, what's up, everybody? Bytrix here. Welcome back to Breath of Fire 3. And you're probably wondering why is the video like a squared version as if I'm playing on a TV or the PS1 version. Apparently, this is not my video. And I'm not trying to steal some uh, content from other YouTubers. But before I continue, I'm going to credit this video to Mr. Janus, aka Bad Potato. Um, I, I think he has like three other names in the video. I, I don't know. I, I'm using the channel name and the name that's in the title of the video. And basically what happened is that... Um, uh, I don't know what happened really. Um, I was out of my mind. Maybe I wasn't thinking. Uh, apparently what I thought is that episode 24... I think 24? I think 24 and 25 were already uploaded to my YouTube channel just set on private so then I was like oh okay I, I'm pretty sure it's already uploaded so I'm just gonna delete the file itself and guess what whenever I delete something that is that is going to my recycle bin I'm gonna empty it right away it's just habitual you know it's something that I've been doing and I cannot stop it's just it's just like a habit you know whenever something goes to my trash I just want to discard it right away discard it from my trash that is <clears throat> so and I soon found out that, oh hey, there isn't a, there isn't a video that's been uploaded, huh? But anyways, yeah, that that's basically what happened. So we got to this town, I forgot the name of the town, and we got out of it, and we just got camping. And it seems like people or our Nina, Momo, and Ray, I don't know, Momo has it, but basically, Ray and Nina has now like. They, they kind of doubt themselves or they have like second thoughts were pretty much like in their head they're pretty much telling themselves to, to, to not do something but basically yeah it's not that bad um, to be honest it was actually recorded for three videos um, it was 24, 25, 26, 24 meaning that I got around here 25 uh, I activate some crap and uh, 26 I, I have a new boss fight but basically this video I'm using from mr. bad potato or mr. Janus or mr. Taz I think um, is a speed run so hopefully and I was surprised that within those three videos that is a total of at least one and a half hours of footage and this guy was able to do it within half an hour maybe more more or less, you know, and I'm impressed that how speedrunners could actually just go through things that you you just think as a casual. I, I hate to admit it, but as a as a person that plays RPGs casually, plays it in a chilled manner in a sense, you know. So yeah, seems like we got into this junkyard thing. I actually spent a bit of time here. I kind of remember that. I remember I was spending like 10 to, 10 to 20 minutes here just like walking around and getting lost. But for speedrunners, I'm sure they, they've they've beaten the game multiple times. So pretty much like, you know, they have to get used to the plays, get used to the controls. So it's understandable that they would probably, it would take them very less time compared to someone that's been playing it for the, for the sake of the story or for the sake of the, of being you know reminiscent or nostalgic in a sense i mean i'm not someone that has a lot of free time nowadays and i was able to pretty much pay a, uh record a lot of episodes before i actually start working my internship i mean it's been right now it's already been five weeks in, into my internship place i just have like about six or seven weeks left i really wish it could end quickly <laughs> Because, um, I mean, it's a phase. It, it's it's a phase where, you know, you're introduced to the, to the reality of being a college student to eventually evolve to a person that's going to be working for him or for himself and f in order to support his f family members and stuff like that. I mean, I'm the last child. I'm the youngest of all four. And it's kind of a culture thing for us Filipinos or maybe Asians. That the youngest is most likely going to be staying with the parents the most. And at first I was like, eh, that ain't real. But right now as I'm older, I'm like, yeah, I don't mind staying with my parents, you know. I mean, it's for sure I don't have that much privacy. But what I, what is my goal? Privacy? 
or company with my loving parents think about it you can you, you have some you have people to talk to physically face to face you have if your mom is if your mom or your dad cooks then it's great it means you get to eat for as long as you want until their their time has finally come you know I'm not trying to say or trying to wish my parents any kind of sickness or illness but I mean like people don't get younger and it's basically a good idea to stay with them and spend as much time as you can with them because you know I love my mom's cooking man I love my mom's cooking they're, they're, they, they taste great even though I'm on a diet I'm like okay mom I can't eat the rice but that's not the one you cooked the one you cooked is this delicious looking chicken adobo that is high in protein first of all and there's I mean yeah there's fat in it but I mean like yeah I'm, I'm on a low carb so that's good you know low carb high fat ketogenic diets you know stuff like that so yeah oh what is this Oh, uh, it's a puzzle thingy where we have to pretty much uh, chain up. Uh, what, 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 what do you say? Um, rotate, rotate the thing. Rotate the mirrors or to reflect to basically reach into the center, which you're gonna see it pan eventually, because you know the screen here is like square. So unlike in the PSP version, it's a wider, a wider pers perspective. Excuse me. Yeah, it basically has to hit that thing. I guess that the portal drive referred. To, uh, yes, it's the machine. Yeah. Yep, it's the teleportation, teleportation, machination of warptation. I, I don't know what I'm saying at this point, but yeah, like I was saying, yeah, I was like, okay, at least I can stay with my dad, stay with my mom, rather than just staying home alone and. Or on my own apartment, let's say, and just like I don't know, just rely on people to be online just so you won't feel lonely. I mean, sure, yeah. There, eventually, eventually, I'm gonna ha I'm gonna be in a relationship which I had been, and it's like eh, not that great. Uh, it, it was a it was an experiment, but I basically found myself that I'm actually happy with the things that I'm doing at the moment. I mean. I don't have time to play video games or even record myself play video games but I just enjoy just working out and eating you know six meals a day or what have you as a bodybuilder even though I don't look like one yet eventually I will look like one I, I, I will so what happened to this thing this machine is that it basically brought us back all the way after a long travel with uh, with with two twin bot with one pair of twin tentacle boss fights, and and we're just back here. Yeah, we're back to the uh, to the to the steel to the to the steel metal guild steel guild. I don't remember. It's been a while. You know, it's it's been a, a total while, and I'm like. It took me a while to find a, a, a good footage too, because some some of the speedruns, well, so, most of the speedruns that actually some of them do have less time than this, but they all have a uh, commentary, and it's gonna be confusing for you guys. You're gonna hear me talk, and you, you're gonna hear me this, you're gonna hear the speedrunner talk in it, so it's gonna be confusing as heck. So I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna get this long one, but apparently it I didn't it didn't really leave that much of a mark. It's 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 not that much it's only like 35 minutes that I've 35 minutes footage that's worth of me doing it for a, an hour and a half maybe more yeah the steel beach there you go the, I, I was confused with the guild word and the steel word so basically they got back they got all the way back and they were confused due to the fact that okay we spent all those time we're back to square one I'm just gonna you can read a text if you like but usually, I, if I'm the one playing, then I would pretty much be the one reading it. But since I'm not the one playing, then I'm just gonna explain things of what's going on in the game as well as my live. So yeah. Pug G! Pug G! Pug G Mobile! Yes, guys. Pug G Mobile, I have, up, uh, I have recorded a couple of videos with that game. It's hilariously fun. And the reason why I call it hilariously is because, you know, me and the, and the group, you know, me, Ecuador, 
Willy Boy, your boy JC, and occasionally Takalaji, aka Martin, aka Ecuador, Doss, Willy Boy, William, your boy JC, JC, and Taco, Martin, and Biotrex, myself, as Jose. It really depends on the mood, but as far as I think, as far as I can imagine, we're just gonna refer each other to our own real nicknames. We're not gonna refer to ourselves to like uh, our characters' names. You know, we're gonna we're not gonna pretend like I, I, I'm not trying to bash or talk smack about other YouTubers that are trying to keep up some kind of uh, some kind of an acting or voice acting where they call each others their um, how do you say it? their ID names or the character names. I'm just we're just we're just like we're just here to play the game. Okay, we're just here to play the game, make fun of each other, make fun of the game, make fun of each other's mistakes that we make in the game. That's pretty much it. That that that's us. You know, it's it's easy, it's stupid, it's easy, it's funny. I think it's it's gay, it's it's whatever stupidity or whatever you can think of. So yeah, that's that's Pug G and RV for us. Also RV, if you don't know what RV is, I I think RV is pretty much famous right now. RV is a is a MOBA that's actually pretty big. Um, there's Mobile Legends, there's ROV, there's Heroes Evolved, but to be honest, they're all the fucking same, man. Um, there was a point in time where I'm like playing Dota One, and there's some people inviting me playing Heroes of New Earth, and there's some people inviting me to play League of Legends, and then all of a sudden, uh, Dota Two came out, and I'm like. Okay, so what's the point of this? It's, a, you're play, eh, it's basically the same thing. You 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 destroy turrets, you destroy the, the the base or the crystal or whatever you have, and while you're doing that, you try to collect as much kills if you're anything but a tank, okay, or a support. If you're a tank or a support, just don't worry about kills. But in my case, I just hate dying more than I kill. At least if I have like three kills and three deaths, I'm okay. But if I have three deaths and four, uh, three deaths and two kills, it messes with with me mentally. I, I don't know. It's not OCD. It's just it just makes me uncomfortable. It makes me feel like I'm missing something. There's no balance. <laughs> I don't have OCD. Maybe I do, but I don't know. I'm not. It's not like I look at stuff and then I just go crazy and then just say the way of the future, the way of the future, the way of the future, the way of the future. I'm not gonna be like that. Hell no. <laughs> For those of you who have watched that movie, yeah, you're gonna get that joke. Um so basically what we're trying to do in this game right now is that oh well, not me, what basically Mr. Janus was is doing in this game is basically uh, we got teleported back all, all the way from the other side. I don't know why I did that. And the portal here, uh, as soon as we were done teleporting back here, the portal basically just stopped working. Um, basically, it's like we got sent here, but it cannot send us back yet. So basically, what we had to do is we had to do some kind of a... Uh, uh, mechanisms and machinery stuff that we have that we could use to make it you know usable in, in a sense that we can just teleport wherever we want to and the insectors and stuff like that to be honest with the, the original recording that I recorded in this place I died twice and that's because of recklessness and stupidity it, it was Ryu, Gar and Ray and you pretty much know where this is going okay Ryu and Gar they're fine um, the only thing that the downside with Gar is he's just not, he's not intellectual. I don't mean it in a stupid way. I don't mean he's stupid, but he doesn't have much of a uh, of a use in terms of like versatility. I mean, he has high damage, he's tanky, but at the same time, we kind of need a, a bit of vers versatility. Yeah, sure, he can do pyrokinesis and stuff like that, but it's not considered. It's just his specialty, you know. Unlike Ryu, he can transform into a dragon and do healing stuff, and as well as uh, you know, buffing his friends up. Same thing with Momo. Nina, maybe not the buffing, but more on the debuff side. Same thing with Ray. He can transform to one, one big feline motherfucker, while he can just debuff enemies. But basically, what happened is that. Um, 
we were half health. Everyone was half health. And then I was like, okay, it's just one enemy. All right? It's just one enemy. And everyone just... And it, this guy, I don't know if it's the Insector or something. He blinded all of us. He blinded Ryu, Gar, and Ray. And Ray was on Tiger form. And Ray killed Gar. And the Insector... The, the Insector killed... Um, ha, ha, Ray, I remember. Yeah, Ray died first. And as, tr as Ryu is trying to get his shit together, he tried to attack. And apparently he missed. And then Ryu died. At this exact spot where I'm standing, by the way. Yep, that, that, that stairs right there. The first stairs before it went down. Yeah, that is basically what happened. It was stupid. I was... I was being... Uh, I was an imbecile. I wasn't paying attention. <sighs> Just had to get that out there. And the, the bad thing about that is that I did not save the game. So I had to do the, the junkyard thing again. Yeah. And I had to read all those stuff again. I didn't. Because usually. Usually I save the game at the beginning of the episode and at the end of the episode. And this was around the middle of the episode. So it's like. Well, I just, uh, I guess I fucked myself up, huh? So, yeah. So it seems like it's really easy. This part, this part, this particular part here actually took me 45 minutes, if I remember. But I don't know what's wrong with this, with Janus, man. I, I, I try running away, they just don't let me run away. They, but for Janus, it's just, they're, they're just like, Oh, yeah, sure, go ahead, you can, you can go, you're fine. Like, I don't, I don't know, really. I don't know. So, some kind of voodoo crap going on around here. Dragnir. Okay, Dragnir or Dragnir. You're gonna see what Dragnir is. This is a village. I'm not gonna spoil yet. But during the boss fight, I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain. I'm gonna spoil it basically because I, I, I doubt that Genesis is gonna be talking to everyone here. Because speedrunners, they don't really pay attention to much of that stuff. They just usually just go, 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 go. So this guy is like, hey, you, did you leave that just that building? And Ryu's like, yep. And this guy, this elderly man that has some kind of frame sticking out from his back. What's this? Everyone, we must hurry. Or we must celebrate. I didn't read that in time. Please be at ease. I am Grull, the Pratyarch of his village. Of this village. All of us here are the same as you. We are all brood, but... Do not be alarmed, Guardian. We gave up powers and fled during the Great War. So it's not to, found, to be found as Guardians? <laughs> exactly. It's in preparation for this moment. This moment you mean... You will know soon enough. But for now, please rest and be at ease. Oh, Dragon Prince is a noble one. I don't know what the, uh, the last word was. Please eat this. This meat will restore the sleep. <laughs> and now Rai is having a dream. I, don't, I didn't really understand this part of the dream. The lady is going to talk to him, I think. We have been waiting for you, eh, Prince of Dragons? It's been foretold for many generations. <laughs> After our defeat by our enemies, they blah blah blah, the first of the earth to survive the people either and to give up their power like we here, or bury themselves deep, deep underneath. Our brethren, who uh, many have entered the deep sleep after conceiving a child who has slept to await the time the brood will walk the earth again. <sighs> and now the day has arrived, the prince is soon to something. I didn't read it then. God damn it. And Ryan's like tiptoeing.
You have come here to the forgotten uh, land of the brood. Call it destiny if you will. We can tell you where to find it as you are seeking. Where to find your foe, the goddess Miria. You, mu uh, you must face the goddess. Okay, I get it. Are you awake? You fell asleep at the banquet. If you're looking for your companions, they're over there. Look who's awake. The brood are pretty amazing. Who would have thought they were still alive? Leaving a forsaken place like this. I wonder how Gar feels right about now. I mean, being a city or surrounded by the people who used to be his enemies. He's over there looking depressed. Try and cheer him up, will ya? Pretty sad, you know, like the brutal, like they're not overpowering, they're like, they gave up. They don't want, because they didn't want to fight back to that, that basically would cause the earth to shatter into little pieces of rocks. So, they're like, okay, just, just kill us, you know? Either kill us or we we'll give up our powers, and, but still live as regular humans. Except for one dude. Except for one dude. And there's a, uh, this a specific specimen from the from the Brood War. Brood War, that's Starcraft. I mean, the great war between the Guardians and the, and the Broods. There's one specimen that did not give, gave up his power. Not even to include... T uh, not to include... Not even including Ryu. And another specific person. Which you're, you're probably gonna figure out later. I don't know if you figure out yet. I don't know if you figure out yet, but the other brood, besides Ryu and then this guy that survived the Great War, is is still there, there are a total of three broods as of now. A total of three broods, like three broods that can still transform into dragons. Okay, not the broods that gave up their powers. Okay. Okay, now the elder, he's the eldest of us all. All, all he remembers is the Great War. Go to the well village center. Okay. What the heck? Are you in need of anything? What the heck? I cannot even buy shit like that fast. What is going on with this dude? I was gonna go out, change Ray to Nina. Because basically they're gonna be required for the dialogues. <coughs> so, it's Ryu, Gar, and uh, Ryu, Gar, and Nina. Yeah, this part. Because this guy is just like, this guy, the oldest guy is like, he's craving for some, uh, <laughs> you know what I mean. But he could not get it because he's gonna die anyways. There's gonna be a boss fight, okay? Is that a spoiler alert? I'm basically telling you what happened that until the file got deleted. So yeah, it's gonna be me just doing nothing and but watching this guy playing this game super damn fast while I'm trying to blab around with my mouth. What's that? <coughs> ivory dice. I never understood what ivory dice do, like. I don't know, it's a, it's a weird thing. You have come. Welcome, eh? I'm the Elder Jono. Don't let my looks fool you, I'm a nice guy. This is the voice I did for it. Come here, my son. My son. Did you see the mural on the wall as you come in? That is the history of our people's struggle. <clears throat> Our people's history stretched back to the distance even before the Great War. It is a history of struggle against a great reoccurring evil. With each age, warriors among the brood with his allies, he carried on the struggle against this bitch called Miria. My throat is dying from this. <clears throat> uh. 
Yeah, this is the part where it's actually got a little boring. Yeah, you don't have to pan that fast. We've already seen it like a million times, especially the intro of the videos. Against evil that appears to be mortal, sometimes that's a devil, that evil that is named Neria. The god of the Urkans, the god you are seeketh. Of course, it seems the Urkans never refer to the god or the enemy the brood by name. Speaking of the Urkans, I want to talk to your friend, the Guardian. Bring him here. Come on, big guy. Guardian, I have the hand to you, Urkans and Zumeria, that you decided to get rid of the brood. You didn't hold back at all, didn't you? But you must realize one truth. As long as you refuse to speak your god's name or the name of your enemy, no one will blah 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 or why. Oh, honorable Elder One, do you hate us? Hate? There's maybe some among us who do, but I do not, Guardian. I cannot allow himself to be blinded by hatred or spit with blood for no reason. Fate, Honorable One, what do you mean? Please, tell me. Stop calling me Elder One. You're every bit as old as I am. <laughs> to be honest, he has a point. Yeah, they fought since probably when this dude was like a teenager or like when Ryu's around Ryu's age. He needs to talk to Nina. You need to talk to one young woman. I want to smell what a, what a 20 year old pussy smells like. Listen, my little lady, I'm going to tell you about the fate of the brood and the goddess Miria. I'm listening. I mean, I'm listening. <laughs> That's more like it. Good girl, now listen closely. The Brood and Mirror have always fought down through the ages and all across the world. Is it because they're trying to destroy the world and they're trying to, try to protect it? It's not exactly that simple, child. Think about it. That would mean the world would be here after we lost the Great War now, would we? Besides, the real danger to the world might be us brood. Our power is such that we could destroy the world and the goddess may have feared that strength and decided to destroy us. But, so, does it mean it is an evil dragon or Ryan is an evil dragon? No, no, child. Don't get me ahead of you. You're gonna get ahead of you. We lost the war because we didn't use our powers. We had fought back with all our power. We might have indeed destroyed the world. So you mean the brood were concerned with the fate of the world, and they're not evil? <laughs> well, that's not exactly right either. I want to tell you something about something important. Come up next to me, and will you do that? That's it. Now kneel down and give me a kiss. What? Just, just, just do it. Okay. Just, just give him a kiss. <laughs> oh, well, I got my kiss now. I have no regrets. It's time for me to do what I must. Right, you come here. Hey, you have guessed this, but I have to end my fate now. And you're your fate. Are you ready to, for what comes next? The brood we have waited, waited to bequeath the true power of the brood to the one who knew that would get... I didn't read that. That's why he gave me to the lonely barren place to hide the power from many prying eyes of that bitch Miria. To fool Miria into thinking she succeeded in eradicating the brood. I don't know if our ruse work, but we have guided the essence of the brood here in me. I'm ready to give you that power. Blood of my blood, you must take the power from me. In order to guard against the discovery by the goddess, we place this barrier so that it would prevent her from sensing me. However, you won't be able to use your brood power. 
But I can use mine because mine's a true good power. <laughs> I don't even know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. This is basically the true brood power. I mean, he's actually pretty strong. Um, I remember back then when I was trying to fight. Uh, I mean, the speedrunners, you know, they're going to have this... I don't know. They have this thing that basically they attack for as much damage as they want after a couple of turns. You'll see what I see. You, you, you'll see what I'm trying to say. So he focused twice, which basically doubles the amount of damage that he, that he has. And he's going to be doing super combo, which you're going to play pre pressing a bunch of buttons, which I can't even read. And it, the more you press, the more combo you're going to, or the, the more amount of hits you're going to be hitting. So as you can see there, quad damage, basically doubled twice with infinite combo. So yeah, that is literally the whole boss fight. Very good, Ryu. You have proven yourself to me. Very well, eh? I bequeath you the true power of the brood. Come here. I give unto you the very essence of the brood that you can shake the very foundations of the world. The power of infinity. With this power, the power is in your hands. Listen to me, Ryu. This is a power which the goddess rightly fears. It is in your hands now, yours and your friends. Always, the warrior of the brood has fought with his allies, his friends, and together they have defeated the goddess. Before her name was Miria, it was called Tyre back in the first translation of the first Breath of Fire game, where the name was illiteral, or actually literal, my mistake. Farewell, Ryu. Blood of my blood. Awakening his latent power. Why am I still using his voice even though this character's voice is already dead? <coughs> okay, so... Apparently that's pretty much it. Um, an hour and a half within less than 35 minutes. I'm impressed. I'm impressed with, with speedrunners. I don't know. The, the, the toughest part for me is Dark Souls. I don't know how people are gonna eat speedrun Dark Souls. It's just like it's crazy, you know. It's crazy. Looks like you have discovered the power of the infinite. Hey? Very well then. I will tell you where you can find the goddess. You must leave here and travel far to north to the desert of death. There's a camel right there. Don't worry, he will not erupt if you know what I'm talking about. It's a Pokemon from uh, the third generation of the Pokemon series called Camerupt, where basically a camel erupts volcanoes back in his bark. I don't know why I'm doing this accent, I'm basically hyper. For no apparent reason. Maybe I had consumed some sugar after not consuming any sugar for a couple of days, which makes me sensitive. I don't know. So basically, that's it for this episode. I will pretty much uh, continue to the next one. So, yeah. Thank you very much. And goodbye. And have a nice day. See you in the next episode. The real episode. And thank you, Mr. Janice, again. Don't worry, I won't, I won't monetize this video. You're still watching this ending, aren't you? Okay, whatever.